Okay, very good. So, ayan, anyong everyone, anyong sa'yo. Again, this is your Sir Joel. Huwag kalimutan. Uh, the discussion for tonight, it will be soil science. Okay. It will be soil science and it will be ultimate final coaching. Okay. Okay, so these are the things that we are going to discuss, the concept and the, uh, not just the concept, but also the weathering and uh, uh, weathering and soil formation. Pag-uusapan din natin ang weathering and soil formation for tonight. Para, hindi natin, para bukas din, ibang topics din for tomorrow. Okay? So, we have concept of soil. Pag sinabi natin soil, it means, uh, yun, medium of uh, plant growth. Okay? It is a medium of plant growth. Medium. Okay? Of plant growth. Huwag kalimutan. Yan mga term na kailangan yung tandaan. And then, pag sinabi din natin soil, uh, it is a uh, natural body. Okay? Uh, plant growth. And then, we have a uh, natural body. Okay? It is a natural body. Kasi nga, hindi yan kayang gawin ng tao. Pag hindi kayang gawin ng tao, it's natural. natural. Pag hindi kayang gawin ng tao, that is meaning non-renewable type of uh, resources. That is a non-renewable non-renewable resources. Okay? So, yan ang kailangan yung tandaan sa uh, soil science. Yan po ay laging lumalabas sa board exam. Okay? Pag sinabi naman sa so soil surface, it means it is in the term meaning upper limit of the soil. Ibig sabihin, upper limit, the surface of the soil or the upper limit of the soil. Yung pinaka-peak ng soil, that is what we call the upper limit of the soil. Upper, that is soil surface. Ganito, this is the soil surface. Here is the mga roots, mga microorganisms. So, ang tawag dyan sa ground na yan, dyan sa tataas, ang tawag dyan sa upper limit ay uh, soil surface. Okay? Now, there's a soil individual. So, let's start first with the pedon. Pedon is also known as the basic, okay? Basic sampling unit, okay? It is the basic sampling unit, okay? Basic sampling unit that used in soil surveys. So, si pedon ay basic uh, sampling units na ginagamit sa soil survey. No, ano ba ang, ano, ang measurement ni pedon? A measurement ni Pedon is 1 to 10 square meter. Meaning, okay, it means that it is a hexagonal column. No, hexagonal column or hexagonal shapes ang Pedon. Okay? Hexagonal column. So that is the Pedon. Saan siya nangyari? Saan siya nakukuha ng sampling? Sa top surface area ng soil. So, always remember, pag pedon, that is the basic sampling unit na ginagamit for soil surveys. And then, it is measured as 1, uh, one, uh, one, two, sorry, 1 to 10 square meter. And it is an hexagonal shape. Okay? And then, we have polypedon. Pag sinabing polypedon, it is consists of or made up of multiple pedons. Ibig sabihin, madaming pedons or madaming basic uh, basic uh, basic sampling unit okay there are multiple pedons okay multiple pedons or manami pag the word is of poly meaning marami pedons is the basic uh, sampling unit okay so marami or maraming basic sampling unit that is polypedon okay wag kalimutan yan so, polypodent is an essential soil individual siya and then comprising an identifiable, identifiable series of soils in an area. So, yan ay tinatawag na polypodent. So, maraming hexagonal uh, column of, uh, yan, uh, used as basic sampling unit, okay, sa soil survey. So, there are also approaches in the study of soil, which is very important. We have pedological mm -hmm. approach the edapological. Pedological from the word itself, pedon, meaning soil or earth. Okay? Meaning soil or earth. Na pinag-uusapan only the soil. Okay? Pinag-uusapan ang soil, uh, only the soil. 
soil alone, alone okay? Ang principal interest ng characterization ng soil or soil, okay? Soil tuloy. And edaphological, okay? Edaphological approach from the word itself, edap, okay? From the word itself, edap, meaning, okay? Meaning soil or ground. Yung pinag-usapan. Meaning soil or ground. It is the study of the soils with emphasis with uh, on the particular use. Meaning, uh, uh, starting from the soil to hop to higher plants, ang pinag-uusapan ng edaphological. Okay? Soil to higher plants. While pedological, ang pinag-uusapan is the soil alone. Okay? So that is the study. Study of soil alone that is pedological. Pag pinag-uusapan ang soil uh, soil and the relationship of the soil with the higher plants, so that is edaphological approach. Kasi pinag-uusapan dyan with regards to the uh, fertility, o ano ba yung kailangan ng soil fertility para uh, mag-grow ng mabuti ang uh, plants. So, these slides here, madaming lumalabas sa word exam dito. It's either ito ang lalabas sa word exam, eto or eto. Yan, 100% may lalabas yan, isa sa kanila. Okay? Or dalawa. Minsan lahat yan sila ay lumalabas. So, under the field of study ng uh, soil, meron tayong tinatawag na soil fertility. Okay? So, soil fertility, it is concerned with the quality of soil that you are going to provide an optimum level of nutrients. Anong binaprovide mo? Nutrients. Optimum level of nutrients. Okay? So, that is fertility. Okay. Um, as what I have said, a note na rin dito sa fertility of the soil that not all uh, not all fertile soil are productive. Okay, always remember that. Not all fertile soil are productive. Okay, and not all productive soil are fertile. Okay, kasi some of them, I can, I still, uh, some of them ay nabubuhay pa rin siya sa mga uh, infertile type of soil. Yun. Always remember that not all fertile soil are productive and not all productive soil are infertile. Okay? Next is we have soil physics. Soil physics, it is concerned with the physical properties of the soil. So, yan ay pag-uusapan din natin at uh, dadaanan natin yan sa ating discussion. Okay? Uh, by tomorrow. And then, soil chemistry naman. Okay? Pag soil chemistry, it is concerned with the chemical structures of the soil, yung mga uh, cation exchange capacity, the soil colloids, and uh, colloids, mga soil pH, pag-uusapan natin yan siya. No? The, the chemical structures of the soil. So, that, this one will be discussed on the last minute review. Kasi nga, ito yung part na medyo tricky at madaling yung makalimutan. So, I include ko na lang din sa, um, sa soil chem ang nitrogen cycle, uh, the carbon and nitrogen ratio. Ah, ah. Madidiscuss ko pala yan siya. Uh, so, madidiscuss ko yung carbon and nitrogen cycle sa chemical structural, okay? Or the chemical, or the soil chemistry. Matatakal ko pala yan. And then, we have soil microbiology. Pag sabing soil microbiology, it is concerned with the microorganisms that are uh, beneficial to the soil, okay? Microorganisms that are beneficial to the soil. And also, we will discuss about soil conservation and the management, Okay? And we have the soil mineralogy. Pag soil mineralogy, it is the study of structural chemistry of the solid components of the soil. So there are many types of uh, minerals. But we are not discussing about the minerals. No, uh, siguro pahapyaw, the primary minerals and the secondary minerals. And then we have the land use. Okay, so yung land use uh, depends. Pero usually hindi naman talaga siya lumalabas exam yung land use. Kasi land use, it refers kasi mayroong mga soil that is only used for uh, uh, forest, okay, meron mga land use only used for agro, agro industry, agro industrial, meron mga land use na ginagamit only for agricultural use, okay, so those are, these are the field of the study in the soil, okay, so let's proceed to the components or different components of the soil, and number one of that is different components of the soil, so we have here, uh, let's make a pie here, uh, we have the soil uh, solids and the soil are the pore spaces. So we have the soil solids, okay? Soil solids and the pore spaces. Anong pore spaces? Yung mga butas-butas sa soil. Yun, soil tuloy. Okay, so example, if this is the pie here and it is divided into 
Ganyan, and then ganyan. Okay. So here, uh, the same, no? and you have the same percentage, 25% and 25%. So we have here the soil, air, and the soil, water. So soil, air, and soil, water are, or uh, dumadaan po sila sa poor spaces. Sa poor spaces po sila dumadaan. Okay? So saan sila dumadaan? Sa poor spaces. Meaning, the poor spaces consist of soil, air, and the soil water. Always remember na ang kanilang percentage is 25% and 25%. Soil, air is 25% and soil water is 25%. And always remember kung, ano po, kung saan po dumadaan si soil water, hindi, po dyan, hindi na po dumadaan dyan si soil air. Kung saan po dumadaan sa, si soil air, hindi din po dyan dumadaan si soil water. Nagets ninyo? So kasi po, it is already been a barriers or meron parang boundary na siya na hindi na siya pwedeng pumasok kasi nga it is already occupied by soil, air, and soil, water. So that is a uh, need ng ating soil at saka ng ating plant. Okay? And we have also soil solid which is the mineral matter and the organic matter. Mineral matter contains the largest or the greatest percentage in the earth crust and that is 45%. And we have 5% of organic matter. So in the mineral matter, so we have mineral matter here. So we have actually um, um, primary minerals and secondary minerals. So there are a lot of minerals that we are going to discuss in organic matters. That also one of the reason why there is a rocks. Rocks defined as the aggregates of inorganic matter. Okay. And we have organic matters, so we will discuss also the uh, undecomposed, well decom uh, undecomposed, slightly decomposed, and well decomposed. And there are also organic substances that are acidic. We have felsic, miss, uh, uh, felsic. If you can still remember that, yun the highest um, um, uh, organic acid. Yun. So, yun. So, that is organic. So, sa organic matter, kasama na po dyan yung microorganisms that are helpful to make the soil organic. So, that is 5% in the earth crust. Okay? Okay. So, ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba ng soil air sa ni soil air? Ano pinagkaiba ng soil air sa ating atmospheric air at saka sa uh, soil air? Sa soil talaga. Soil air. Ano pinagkaiba ng soil air sa atmospheric air? Okay? So, when it comes to oxygen, okay, when it comes to oxygen, syempre, ang kailangan kasi ng tao ay oxygen. So, meaning, uh, in atmospheric air, the oxygen is higher. Kung i-compare natin sa soil air. Sa soil air kasi, example, this is the soil surface. Tapos sa baba, di ba, pag nilibing ka, hindi, hindi ka nakakainga. Because there's no, there's a less or lower oxygen. Kasi hindi ka nakakainga because there's only lower oxygen. Okay, pag uh, sa carbon dioxide naman, okay, pag carbon dioxide, mas mataas ang ang soil air. Okay, kasi kailangan nyo ng plan. So, higher ang soil air kung ikumpara natin sa atmospheric air. Kasi ang tao, or lower siya sa atmospheric air. Kasi ang tao, mas kailangan kasi ang oxygen kung ikumpara sa carbon dioxide. So, ibig sabihin sa soil air dito, mas marami, as mas abundant ang carbon dioxide kung ikumpara sa oxygen. Okay, pagdating naman sa nitrogen, okay, nitrogen, ang pinaka, yun, ang pinaka higher, ah, so the higher among the, uh, between the two is the atmospheric air. Can you still remember the nitrogen cycle which is the blue bay max? Okay, ilang percentage nga ba si nitrogen cycle sa atmospheric air? Who can answer? Seventy-eight. Ilan? Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Oh, <laughs> it's seventy-eight percent. Okay, nitrogen in the uh, atmospheric air is seventy-eight percent. Yon. So that's why higher sa sa atmospheric air kung ikompara natin sa soil air. Okay. So yan yan po ang ang kailangan ninyong tandaan. Okay. Yan po ang kailangan tandaan sa concept of soil. So concept of soil may lumalabas po talaga sa board exam yan. So kaya Diniscuss ko siya ng ganito para mas maintindihan. Nagets niyo po yan. Okay. Hopefully nagets niyo yan kasi lumalabas talaga yan sa board exam. Pag hindi niyo nagets, you can go back to the video and watch it again. Okay? So next is we have the rocks. Okay. Always remember that the rocks is composed of aggregate minerals. Okay? Aggregate. Anong ibig sabihin ng aggregate? Ibig sabihin yung pinags pinagsama-samang mga maliliit na yan. Mga maliliit. Yan. Example, ito. 
bato ba ganyan 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 di ba ang bato bago siya naging bato as in whole meron niya sa mga maliliit liit 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 na mga parte big sabihin it is pinagsama so that is aggregate pinagsama kinombine yung mga maliliit na mga minerals kinombine ng mga maliliit na minerals syempre meron niya yung parang glue di ba yung para para magdikit siya para magbuo yung glue ay tinatawag nating flocculation okay flocculation flocculation. Ito lang mabasa sa board exam din to. Yung parang glue siya na nagdidikit sa mga aggregate minerals. Ang tawag po doon ay flocculations. Okay? And we have also petrology. Petrology, it is the study of rocks. It is the study of rocks. Okay? So that is petrology. Always remember, it is the study of rocks. Petro meaning rocks. Okay? So study of rocks. Okay? And there are three general classifications of rocks. Okay? What are those? We have um, igneous rocks. Okay? We have igneous... Sorry. Ito na lang. We have igneous rocks. Okay? Triangle natin para ano na lang siya, para malaman ninyo yung, ano, yung formation niya. So, we have igneous rocks. Okay? And metamorphic rocks. Okay, and then sedimentary rocks. Okay, always remember, makinig mabuti, igneous rocks, it is the mother, mother of all rocks, parent of all rocks, ancestors of all rocks, the beginning of all rocks is the igneous rocks that is coming from volcanic eruption. Okay, so that is igneous rocks. Always remember that. Okay, pag sinabi natin metamorphic rocks, it is in need of the a higher temperature, okay? Heat and higher temperature or also known as metamorphism. Okay, ang term niya is metamorphism. And we have also sedimentary rocks that can be found in, saan ba can be found ang, ang uh, sedimentary rocks? Sedimentary rocks can be found in sa mga ocean, river, ganon. Sa mga, po, o mga fossils, yun, sa fossils, Ayan yan. So, sedimentary rocks are formed uh, from other existing rocks. Okay? Kasi meron yung mga, are you familiar with fossils? Yun. Yung mga dead body ay natatrap doon sa isang aggregate uh, aggregate minerals. So, that is example of sedimentary rocks. That is actually transported, transported by water. Meron yan sa shore, sa ocean, sa river, yung mga ganun. So, as long as it's water, it means water that is sedimentary rocks. Okay? Always remember na. Now, let's go to the process how this igneous rocks becomes metamorphic rocks and how metamorphic rocks become sedimentary rocks and sedimentary rocks become igneous rocks. Okay? Uh, let's start first with the igneous rocks because this is the parent and the mother, ancestors, and the beginning of all the rocks. Okay? Always remember that when igneous rocks become metamorphic, uh, sorry, met metamorphic rocks, there's a need of a uh, process called metamorphism. So metamorphism is the melting. Okay? Metamorphism is a metamorphism. Yan. Melting. Yan. Melting of, yan. Melted, melting of the aggregate rocks. Yan or rocks, melting of rocks, that is a uh, known process called metamorphism, heating or higher temperature, okay? And now, see si, uh, metamorphic rocks become sedentary rocks, there's a need of lithification and diagnosis, okay? Lithification ang kailangan, okay? It is transported via water, ganun. Lithification and diagnosis and then we have also sedimentary rocks no sedimentary rocks to become igneous rocks no ang kailangan niya ay uh, remelting and okay uh, solidification and crystallization o yan solidification or remelting solidification uh, solidification and crystallization yan as is igneous rock naman is defined also as crystallization and Solidification and crystallization of uh, mold, uh, of the rocks. Sorry. Uh, solidification and crystallization of the molten. Sana ba yun? Uh, define siya as. Yan. Uh, it is original rocks formed by the solidification and crystallization of molten magma. Sa igneous rocks, ha? 
It is the solidification and crystallization of the molten magma. Big sabi mataas yung degree Celsius siya, mga 900 degree Celsius, ganun siya kainit. Okay, always remember that ang lumabas sa exam was magma. Ang lumabas sa exam, twice siya tinanong sa board exam last year. Okay, every year talaga lumalabas yan dyan. So, solidification and crystallization of blank, that is magma. Okay, so that is coming from the igneous rocks. Okay, and also, igneous rocks to become sedimentary rocks, there's a need, a process called litification. Okay, litification, litification, and diagnosis. Okay, there's a process called diratification in the igneous become sedimentary rocks. And sedimentary rocks become metamorphic rocks. There is a process called metamorphism. Okay, metamorphism or uh, higher or melting, yeah, melting, melting and uh, higher temperature also. Tapos pag uh, ang metamorphic rocks naman to become igneous rocks, kailangan ng solidification and crystallization of Molten magma, okay, or, or rock. So that is what we call, so this is what we call the cycle of the three general classification of rocks. Uh, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks, okay? Did you get it? Did you get it? Pag hindi nyo siya magets, you can go back to the video and watch it again, all over again. Okay, so para at least magets niyo, you can go back and go back until you get it, Okay. Lumalabas ito sa board exam. Sa slides na to, it's either the rocks will come out sa board exam or the petrology. Isa sa dalawa niyan ang lalabas sa board exam. And then, yung general classification of rocks lalabas talaga. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Usually, ang tanong is almost uh, halos igneous rocks ang mga tanong. Tinatanong nila, what is the solidification and crystallization of, multi, uh, of the igneous rocks? Of the, of the rocks is that is what we call magma. Okay? Magma po ang tawag dun. And igneous rocks is the mother... The ancestor, siya ang pinaka-origin o siya yung kauna-unahan talaga, primary of all rocks. Okay? So, in igneous rocks, there are two uh, modes of rock formation no? in the igneous rocks. We have extrusive at saka si intrusive. Okay? Extrusive at saka si intrusive igneous rocks. Sino ba yan sila? Extrusive is volcanic. Okay? Volcanic. And intrusive is plutonic. Okay? Ada, ibang term po yan nila. It's ibang term. Bakit siya volcanic? Extrusive, ibig sabihin, vulkan yan. Ibig sabihin, lumabas na yung magma. At siya nag-iba, pag lumabas na, naging magma yan. Uh, naging, naging lava na. So, pag natamaan na ng air, magkakaroon na ng rock formation. Intrusive, intrusive plutonic, ibig sabihin, sa loob yan siya ng volcano. Dito sa loob. There's a spaces there no, where the uh, magma is uh, stored. And then, yun, nagbumuo siya ng rock. So, platonic po ang tawag dyan. Always remember, pagdating sa characteristics, morphological or physical characteristics ng rock sa extrusive, it is a fine grain. Okay? It is a fine grain rocks. Okay? It is a fine grain rocks. Fine grain rocks. Pag intrusive naman, platonic, coarse. Okay, or rough type. Coarse or rough type green na uh, yan, no rocks. Okay? So, yan ang dapat yung tandaan. That is the texture. This is the texture of this mode of uh, rock formation. The texture of extrusive and the texture of intrusive rocks. Okay? And always remember, if the, uh, this is the, the silicon oxide is uh, if the silicon oxide or the, the composition of the silicon oxide okay, of the rocks is greater than 65%, it means it is acidic. Okay? Ano siya? Acidic. Okay? Pag ang silicon oxide ay uh, less than 50%, it means that uh, silicon 50%, ibig sabihin, it's basic. Okay? It's basic. Okay? So, this one is acid. Dick. Pag 50 to 65%, that is neutral. Okay? That is neutral. Pag greater than 65%, that is acidic. Less than 50%, that is basic. And 50 to 65%, that is neutral. Okay? And there are um, eight 
uh, these are the eight most abundant elements in the earth. Kaya nga, di ba, pinamemorize ko sa inyo to kasi lumalabas ito sa board exam. Okay? We have the composition of earth crust and these are the eight abundant elements in the earth crust. So, hindi na siya eight, madami na siya. So, it's 12 if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So, number one is the oxygen which is it has a percent a uh, higher percent by weight, no? 46.60, followed by silicon, al al aluminum, and uh, iron. So, ano yung tapat yung tandaan? The weight of top 1 to top 10, if kaya ninyo, no? i-memorize, no? kailangan i-memorize yun siya, including the percent uh, by weight, kasi lumalabas yan sa board exam. You have oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, magnesium, sodium, yan, potassium, okay, so ano kaya ito? Kaya ko na. Tickle. Uh, tickle ba ito? Nickel? Ay, dito nickel. Ah, hindi ko na alam ano yan. Okay, so hindi ko alam ano yung TI. <laughs> Potassium, hydrogen, phosphorus, manganese, and uh, baka N. Ayan, nickel. And then sulfur. Okay, so yun ang kailangan ninyong tandaan. Kasi lumalabas sa board exam. Minsan lumalabas sa board exam, um, ano o, oh, i-arrange nyo sila from higher to lower. Yun. So, yun, oxygen, silicon, aluminum. Top 1 ang oxygen. Siya ang pinaka-highest na uh, uh, abundant elements in the earth. Okay? And next is we have the mineral. Okay? Mineral is what we call a naturally occurring inorganic substances. Always remember, pag mineral ang pinag-usapan, inorganic na agad yan. Okay? That is inorganic. It's because it composes a lot of uh, minerals. Okay, inorganic na agad yan. Ang lagay natin ilagay sa isipan natin. Okay, and it is also, mineral is considered as the building block of rocks. Kasi nga, di ba, ang rocks is made up of aggregates mineral. Okay, so we have building blocks of rocks. Mineral is considered as the building blocks of rocks. And mineralogy is the study of study of mineral. Okay, study, logy is study and mineral. So, this is the study of mineral and their properties. Okay. So, there are two classification of minerals. We have primary mineral and we have also secondary mineral. Always remember that primary mineral, it is persists in the soil in their original, original state due to high resistance to decomposition. So, always remember that about uh, primary minerals. Okay, ang primary minerals are, example dito, igneous, no? Kasi dito naman sila nagsimula lahat sa igneous rocks, okay? Igneous rocks, ang primary minerals are substances that form from primary igneous rocks via original crystallization. So, from igneous rocks going into primary minerals, okay? So, in the primary minerals, since it is directly from the crystallization of magma, ang primary minerals, it means it occurs in the soil. It occurs in the soil but not form in the soil. Oh, it occurs lang ha in the soil but not form in the soil. Yun. Magkaiba po yung occurs sa form. Okay? And what are the example of primary minerals? Quartz. It's example of primary minerals. Field spar. Okay? Lumalabas din yung field spar. Muscovite, granite, and other uh, minerals, primary minerals. Now, primary minerals, we have the secondary minerals. Secondary minerals cannot be, okay? Secondary minerals are substances that form from the alteration of primary minerals, okay? The secondary minerals cannot be made without primary minerals. So, para magkaroon ng secondary minerals, kailangan meron siyang um, alteration sa primary minerals. Exam, okay, so always remember that the formation of the secondary minerals are larger, larger than the average size. Okay, it's larger than the average size, ang secondary mineral. And it also found and form, no, found and form in the soil. Found and form in the soil. Kung ito, ang primary minerals, it is of course in the soil but not form in the soil. While secondary minerals, it is found and form in the soil. So, what are example of secondary minerals? So, we have shales, slate, clay, limestone, dolomite, yon, gypsum. Those are example of 
secondary mineral. Okay? Yan, lumalabas yan sa exam, huwag kalimutan. And then, we have, oh, this one is the primary minerals, which is, which one is the hardest? Okay, the hardest. So, we have number one, the hardest is the tal. Tal is the hardest, uh, sorry, a very soft, sorry. <laughs> the most hardest, uh, the hardest mineral, primary mineral is the diamond. Okay, it is the diamond. Ang pinaka soft is si tal. Tag is very soft and is really scratched by fingernail. Madali lang siya. Scratched by fingernail. And ang pangalawang soft ay gypsum. Okay? Soft, just barely scratched by nail. Okay? Basta ang pinaka. Okay? Ang pinaka matigas. Okay? Very hard. And no common tool can measure this hardness is the diamond. Okay? The diamond is the hardest among all the primary minerals. So, ang quartz dyan po ay, ibig sabihin, pang-apat sa pinakamatigas. Yun. Okay, so there are two types of weathering of rocks and minerals. Okay, two types of weathering of rocks and minerals. We have physical and chemical. Okay, always remember that. We have physical and chemical. Pag sinabing physical, ito yung breaking up of rocks and minerals into smaller pieces without drastic alteration or without chemical composition. So, without synthetic or chemical comp composition, no, nag-break down lang sarili niya si rocks because of the uh, factors no, affecting it. So, that is a okay, that is a uh, what we call the uh, physical minerals. So, always remember, okay, pag physical minerals, no, it is breaking up of rocks Okay, and then without any drastic alteration of their chemical alteration of their chemical compounds. So that is what we call a physical weathering. Okay, natandaan nyo na. Ayan. So fully natandaan nyo na yan. Kasi that's very important. Just me. Okay. So, pag physical weathering, ang nangyayari, di ba nga, breaking down. So, pag breaking down, it means decreases in uh, size of rocks. Okay? Mumababa. Decreases, decreases the size of rocks. And we have chemical. And we have chemical. It involves the change in the chemical structure. So, meron na siyang chemical structure in the chemical weathering. Okay? So, pag sinabing chemical weathering, there is a change in the chemical composition. So, meron changes sa chemical composition from the word self-chemical. So, there are actually types of chemical weathering. So, number one is hydrolysis. Okay? Hydrolysis. Ano ibig sabihin ng hydrolysis? Okay, makinig. Ang hydrolysis, pang the self water lang, syempre. No? Meron pong niyang reaction ng water. Okay? May reaction siya ng water but leads to or resulting to destruction of the original chemical structure. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang interaction ng water pero it resulted to Destruction. Destruction ng chemical structure. Okay? Yun ang hydrolysis. Okay? Ang hydration naman, water pa rin, from the word itself, hydra, water pa rin po yan. Hydration or hydra, water pa rin ang pinag-uusapan. It means, there is a reaction in the water, tama po yun, reaction in the water, but, not leading destruction. Ibig sabihin, not leading destruction, the chemical, uh, the chemical component or structure is, cannot, is not destructed. Okay? So, that is hydration. Okay? And then, oxidation. It means oxidation. Ito yung conversion ng um, conversion ng iron, uh, iron in the mineral, which is the uh, ferrous and the 
atmospheric no oxidation oxidation is oxidized no uh, kino convert yung iron in mineral from uh, ferrous to from ferrous to ferric so si ferric po ay oxidized type na siya na iron so ibig sabihin yung kanyang um sorry ferric pala so kanya yung chemical structures ay meron na po siyang O or oxygen no oxidized iron na siya tawag doon ferrous hindi pa siya oxidized pero kailangan siya in convert into oxidized one so sa ferrous maging ferric okay and also we have another chemical uh, chemical weathering is carbonation so anong dapat tandaan sa carbonation the word carbonic acid there will be a reaction using the carbonic acid carbonation ang laging tandaan natin the word is carbonic acid anong carbonic acid you have this is the what we call the carbonic acid that is the chemical structure of uh, carbonic acid pag makita niyo carbonic acid sa question carbonization carbonation na po ang tawag doon that's a chemical withering and we have solution okay solution always remember this sabi ko di ba ang water Ang soil water is not a pure water. Always remember, a soil water is not a pure water. It is called soil solution. Kasi nga, it is already mixed with inorganic matter and organic matter. Kaya, sa, kaya siya, ang soil water is not a pure water that absorbed by the plants. Hindi po pure water ang na-absorb ng plants. It is the soil solution. Okay? Na-convert into uh, mineral salt. To, for ano for the absorption of the plants okay so that is solution na gets ninyo lumalabas din po ito sa board exam kemika ang weathering of rocks the physical and the chemical weathering lumalabas yan sa board exam kahit tanungin nyo pa ang mga retakers lumalabas yan oh alam ang tandaan niyo sa chemical hydrolysis hydrolysis pag hydrolysis pero water reactions pero uh, hindi na didistract ang chemical reaction at uh, structures. While hydration, merong water reactions but na didistract ang chemical structure. Sa so oxidation naman, yan ang conversion ng iron in mineral. Which is from ferrous, nagiging ferric siya. So ferric, ibig sabihin, it is an iron that is already oxidated. Okay? Pag carbonation, anong tandaan na word? Carbonic acid is converted by the use of carbonic acid. That's why it becomes carbonation. And solution naman, it's not, the soil water is not a pure water. It is a soil solution because soil solution is composed of inorganic and organic matter. Okay? Next. So there are stages of soil formation. Diba? Pinag-usapan na natin yung physical weathering, chemical weathering. So, the first stage is the physical weathering. So, anong trabaho ng physical weathering? Diba? Ang physical weathering is uh, binababa niya, uh, nire-reduce niya yung size. Diba? Reducing sizes. Ang trabaho ng physical weathering. Ang second stage naman ay tinatawag natin rearranging the mineral particles. Kasi nga, it was reduces the sizes reduces the sizes of the uh, sizes of the parent material ng physical weathering ang ginagawa ang second stage is that rearranging i-arrange siya ulit rearranging the mineral particles okay and number 3 is that the third stage or the stage 3 is adding organic matter so ina-add na nila ang organic matter okay and number 4 stages of soil formation is the chemical weathering. So what are chemical uh, weathering? Hydrolysis, hydration, carbonation. So those are what we call chemical weathering. And number five and last formation, that's the formation of soil horizon. Okay? Formation of soil horizon. So uh, be before it becomes soil horizon, kailangan muna start po tayo sa physical weathering. So yun, physical weathering and then, hindi tayo nagagamit ang mga synthetic organic chemical. And then, uh, anong ginagawa ni, ano, ni physical weathering? Nire-reduce ang size ng parent material. And then, ngayon, ang second stages is, nag, nag, they are rearranging the mineral. Okay, rearranging the mineral. And then, the third stage is, they add organic matter. 
nag-add ng organic matter. And we have the next one is the chemical weathering. Okay, so chemical weathering, we have hydrolysis, hyd hydration, carbonation. So there are what we call a chemical weathering by the use of chemical reaction. And then we have number five, lastly, is the formation of soil horizon. Okay? Yan, lumalabas din po sa board exam yan. Okay? And next, we have this, what we call, five factors of soil formation. So we have this, what we call, the chlorpat. Okay? Chlorpat. Para mas madali siyang tandaan, it is termed as our mnemonics called uh, chlorpat. Always remember that C stands for climate. Okay? C stands for climate. So climate affects the amount of leaching. Okay? Ano nga ba yung leaching? Yung wipe out ang, ang mga soil. Okay? Uh, amount affects, affects the amount of leaching that takes place in the soil and the speed with which soil horizons develop. So, nagkakaroon ng leaching sa climate. So, what are those uh, factors in the leach, in the climate? The temperature. Pag masobraan sa init at masobraan sa lamig, there's a tendency na magkakaroon ng leaching. And then, we have rainfall or pag-ulan. Pag malakas masyadong ulan, na tendency talaga nagkaroon ng higher leaching. Because the leaching occurs when water moves. Okay? Through the soil. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng leaching pag ang water nag-move siya through the soil. Okay? And then, so that is for climate. And LO stands for living organisms. Okay? So, what are those living organisms that are beneficial to the uh, to the soil? So, we have bacteria, uh, fungus, yun. Those are uh, beneficial to living organism. And also, it is also called as a bioturbation. Uh, in living organism, there is also known as the word bioturbation. Okay? Bioturbation. Magkaiba po sila. Magkaiba po sila ni, magkaiba po sila ni pedoturbation ba yun? Magkaiba po sila. Si bioturbation from the word itself, bio, it is uh, uh, mixing. Ag sila ang mix dito? Si soil organism. The mixing of the soil via by the works of microorganism. Ang tawag doon ay bioturbation. Okay? And R is relief or topography. Pag sinabing relief or topography, it is referring to the slope or the landscape of the land. Okay? Referring to the slope. It's either step slope siya, flat lowlands or flat slope siya. Pag sinabing step slope, ibig sabihin po pag ganyan o. Oh, pag ganyan. Pag sinabing flat slope, ganyan. Okay? Okay. And then we have parent material. Parent material, so there's a lot of parent material that uh, transforming or transporting, sorry, parent material that transporting the soils from its origin to another. Okay? So, pag sabihing parent material, ito yung partly weathered mineral or organic debris. So, there are two general classification of parent material. We have residual or sedentary. Residual or, sedent or sedentary. And the transported. Okay? Pag sinabing uh, residual or sedentary, meaning those that develop in place and form the rock below where it is found. Ibig sabihin, nas, nasa within its place lang. Nasa, ano niya lang, nasa place niya lang, nasa position niya lang din siya. Okay, so that is residual or um, uh, sedentary. Ibig sabihin, nag-change siya, no, within its place. While transported, no, pag-transported, it means those which are transported by various agents and deposited in other sites where they form the soil. Pag transported, ibig sabihin, uh, nagta-transform from uh, here to other. Parang natawag migration. Okay? Parang migration. From each place to other place. Transported. So we have known alluvium. Okay. Alluvium. Alluvium is a transportation through rivers or streams. Uh, uh, it is the transportation of the soil through rivers and streams. Lacustrine naman, okay, lacustrine is for lake waters. Okay, transportation of the soil 
uh, lake waters, through lake waters. And we have marine sa sea or oceans. Okay, oceans. Okay, and we have glacial, glacial till, glacial till or, or moraine. Okay, or moraine po. Okay, it is transported by, uh, or transported by ice. Okay, and we have uh, Yolian. Yolian naman, it is transported via, uh, by an wind. Uh, by a wind. Okay? Or carry deposited by the wind. Volcanic, volcanic tough naman pag, ano, pag, pag uh, litification. Volcanic tough pag litification or volcanic, ano, volcanic eruption. Yun. Pag untransported is by a volcanic uh, eruption that is volcanic taft, volcanic eruption. And then we have colluvium by a uh, gravity. Okay, colluvium by a gravity, transported by gravity. So, ito po yung mga parent material na lumalabas sa board exams na kailangan ninyong alamin. Okay, so we have also time or known as time zero. Kailan ba nagsimula? Saan ba nagsimula si soil? Ganon, ang pinag-usapan. Always remember, pag a young soil has minimum soil or development and few horizon. No? Ang mga young soil has only minimal soil development and few horizons. So that is a time. Ang time po, yan po pinag-uusapan kung ano po yung age ng, ano na ba yung age ng soil? Okay? It is talking about the age of the soils or the length of time in years, no? In the land surface, na nabibigam siya, stable, na stable siya. Okay? And always remember, in time also, that old soils have thick solum. Okay? Old soils have thick solum, but are generally acidic and low fertility. Ano yung mga old soils? They have thick or makapal na true soil or solum, but are they are they, but they are acidic and mababa ang kanilang fertility pero pag young soil minimal ang soil development and few horizons so that is the factors of soil formation dahil lumalabas po yan sa board exam na gets ninyo lumalabas yan sa board exam simplify ko na lang siya ng ganyan para mas maintindihan ninyo Okay, pag hindi maintindihan nyo, go back to the video and then yun. Panoorin ng panoorin hanggang mag-gets ninyo. Na-gets? Gets? Gets? Ah, ganun. <laughs> okay, next. Na-gets po ninyo ang five factors of soil formation? Okay, very good. So, at least naintindihan ninyo ang five factors of soil formation. And now, let's proceed to... Okay, soil profile. So ano nga ba ang soil profile? It is the vertical cross section. Vertical ha, vertical cross section. Ano ba yan si ano diyan, si soil profile? So, example, if this is the soil surface and this is the soil profile, meaning the vertical one is what we call ang buong yan ang tawag diyan ay soil profile. Each horizons ang tawag po diyan ay soil horizons. Anong tawag dyan? Soil horizons. Okay? Soil horizons are uh, is a layer of soil. Oh, layer of soil. Or soil material approximately parallel to land surface and suffering. Okay? So that is what we call soil horizon. Okay? So ano naman pinagkaiba ng mechanisms of TTL or mechanisms of uh, or this what we call horizon differentiation or mechanisms of TTL. Or, like, natawag ko siyang TT, ay, TTAL po yan. That is TTAL or TTAL. It is the addition and transformation. Paano ba yan siya? So explain ko sa inyo, ha? Uh, what if ganito ang soil? Ganyan. So from, 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 the, from the peak, from the summit to summit. This is the summit here and this is the steep step soil step soil and this is the flat soil okay so from the top no 
Okay? So, nalulos or nalulos ang L. Start tayo sa L. Nalulos ang soil because of the leaching. Okay? Because of the chlorpot. Okay? The factors. So, ibig sabihin nalulos, nagkakaroon ng translocation. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin ng translocation, letter T. Translocation, ibig sabihin po niyan ay nag-iiba na ang kanyang uh, nag-move na siya from one direction to the others. And then, after that, nagkakaroon ng okay, nagkakaroon ng addition, no? Translocation, uh, trans wait, trans transportation. After ng translocation dito, translocation, nagkaroon na po ng transportation. Nag-transportation dahil sa steep, uh, uh, steep soil, yon Okay? So, nagkaroon ng trans uh, transformation, yan. Transfor, transportation, para, transport, sorry, transportation. Yan. Loss, uh, translocation, transportation sa steep soil. And then pagdating sa baba, sa baba naman, uh, dito sa baba, nagkaroon na ng addition. Okay? So, sa flat slope, nagkaroon na ng addition. Ulitin ko, ito ang mechanism of tital. Okay? Loss is, sino ang na nawawalan si summit? Nawawalan si summit sa taas because of the leaching or other factors. Okay? Of feathering and soil formation. Tapos, uh, nagkaroon na ng translocation or pagbabago ng places from from its places to the other. And then, nagkaroon ng transportation via its either, ano uh, transportation? Sa may glacial, ganon, airland, ganon, lacustrine, ganon. Example yun ng alien. So, example yun ng apparent uh, material or transportation. So, therefore, sa baba, kasi nga, nadagdagan kasi galing sa taas, nadagdagan, that is addition already in the flat slope. Okay? Addition na po yan. So, what is addition or the mechanism of addition and transportation? What is the mechanism? Actually, there are three mechanisms. We have the enrichment, the me melanization, and communalization. Commu Lization. Okay, yan ay lumalabas sa exam din. And we have melanization. Melanization. And we have enrichment. Okay, enrichment. Okay, pag sinabing enrichment from the word itself, di ba pag mataba ang isang tao, kahit kahit ano-ano na lang ang kinakain, right? Ganon din po ang enrichment. The general term of enrichment for the addition of any material to the soil body. Additional po ng any material. Okay? Additional of any material. Additional of any material. Okay? So, that is enrichment. Okay? Pag melanization naman, uh, it is admixing. Okay? It is admixing Melanization is admixing, okay, admixing of organic matter, okay, admixing of organic matter to the mineral matter which makes the soil darkness. Oh, admixing of organic matter to mineral matter, kaya nagiging dark ang soil. That is melanization. Okay, next is communalization, communalization that is addition of mineral matter additional po ng mineral matter through wind no via wind and water to the soil body so that is the addition and transportation ulitin ko enrichment meaning additional of all any material soil material uh, in the soil body uh, to the soil body so that is enrichment any all additional siya. Melanization, ito yung admixing. Kung maga, nag add ka, tapos minimix ang organic, mat, uh, organic matter. Organic material to the mineral matter. So, ang mangyari, since dinagdag ang organic material sa mineral matter, magiging dark ang soil. Okay? Sa melanization. So, communization naman, yung mineral matter is no um, transported via uh, through wind or water. So, that is communalization. Okay? Laging tatandaan yan. Communalization. Okay? Solum is also known as the true soil. What horizon nga ulit ang solum? Solum is horizon 
A and B. Okay? Solum is horizon A and B. And it's also considered as true soil. Okay? And we have also regulate. Okay? Regulate. Regulate are known as the matured soil. Okay? Matured soil, meaning the horizon is? A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay. Always remember, pag solum, virgin pa po yan, ha? Virgin pag solum, meaning unconsolidated, unweathered rock, o unbothered, yun, unbothered, never been touched, never been used. Yan, solum. Ako po, solum pa po ako. <laughs> virgin pa. <laughs> solum, ha? That is, Never been touched, never been used. Yan. Uh, unweathered, unbothered. Yan. Yan ay tawag solum. Okay? Uh, yan, yan. Solum. Virgin pa ako yan. Mm -mm. Solum pa ang tawag dyan. Sa regulate naman, ibig sabihin po ng regulate, it is weathered rock. O weathered, bothered. Yan. Wang lu, luwang. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pag-regulate, ibig sabihin, it is weathered, yon Consolidated, bothered, ganun. Wang, lulu, wang, yung ganun na rock. Ibig sabihin, yan, I regulate or matured rock. Oh, yun, <laughs> matured soil pala. Matured soil, sorry. Matured soil. Okay? Sir, ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng pedoturbation? Okay, pedoturbation, ito po yung trabaho ng both po yan. Meron tayong bioturbation tsaka pedoturbation, di ba? Ang bioturbation, work of the um, microorganisms in the soil, no? To make it organic matter. Ang pedoturbation, dalawa po, both yan. Biological at tsaka physical, Okay? Biological tsaka physical mixing of the soil materials. Okay? Ano yan? Ano pinagkaiba ng bioturbation sa pedoturbation? Ang bioturbation, it is by the work of microorganism na nagmimix siya. By the work of bio, uh, microorganism. Kasi pang the word itself, bio meaning life. It is by the microorganism. While pedoturbation, it means both. No? Microorganism at tsaka physical okay physical mixing of the soil materials okay na gets na ninyo okay and also meron din tayong tinatawag na young soil ang young soil po ito yung bata charot hindi ko alam kung ano siya solum basta young soil siya hindi ko alam kung virgin ba siya ano ba basta young soil siya pag young soil that is horizon a c okay now let's identify the soil horizon here so, this is the soil profile with a soil horizon. Okay? So, each layer is what we call the soil horizon. So, we have horizon A. As o, sorry. O, A, E, B, C, and R. Yan. R is the bedrock. Okay. So, O, that is organic matter. Okay? Organic matter or the topsoil. Organic matter. So, we have three types of organic matter so uh, horizon all where the organic matter so we have oa oi and oa oe and oe okay oa represents to okay oe represents or oa represents to undecomposed okay undecomposed organic material and oi uh, is uh, slightly decomposed Slightly decomposed, and then OE is well decomposed organic material. Well decomposed organic material. So that is horizon O, where the organic matter can be found. Okay? Sa board exam, mayroong question doon, which of the following soil horizon is known as the top soil? Pero wala doon sa choices ang horizon O. The top soil, doon sinoconsider nila is horizon A. Okay? Bakit? Kasi dyan doon nagsastart ang true soil. Diyan doon nagta-start ang true soil. So, the top soil actually is uh, horizon A. Sinabi ko lang kasi siya kahit kanina na sa top soil yung organic matter kasi siya talaga yung nasa unahan talaga. Siya kasi yung nasa 
na sa pinakataas. Pero ang topsoil talaga, consider topsoil, kasi nga, dyan ang true soil is the horizon A. Okay? So, horizon A is the where the organic reach. Okay? Horizon A, where the organic reach or mineral horizons at or adjacent to the surface. Top soil siya. Consider as top soil and then organic reach siya because of the decomposition na galing sa taas. Okay? Okay. Organic reach siya. Organic reach or top soil. Top soil. Okay. And letter E, horizon E naman is the mineral of maximum elevation. Pag sinabing elevation, palabas na. Elevation, palabas. Ibig sabihin na clays are, are spreading wide. Elevation, yun. The clays are spreading wide. Elevation, for the words of E, elevation, X. X, X basta palabas. Ganun. <laughs> X, elevation, palabas. Ganun. X, elevation, E, elevation. Pag B naman, that is ilu. Yan, ilu. That is uh, maximum elevation. I ha, I. Meaning paloob. Yan, elevation. I. So, AI external, I inter, internal. Yan. Ganun. Ganun na lang para mas madali siyang intindihin. Okay, horizon B is the elo, elevation. So, elevation siya. And, uh, ang horizon E naman is uh, elevation, meaning um, external. Pag horizon B, uh, inter, uh, internal, elevation siya, I. Okay, so there is a maximum elevation that forms the beneath, beneath an O, A, and E. Okay, and then we have also in, um, wait, in horizon B, dyan din po yung, since ito yung elevation, dyan din po yung accumulation of clay. Okay, dyan din po yung accumulation of clay. Accumulation of clay. Accumulation of clay. Okay, and we have horizon C. It is also known as weathered parent material okay it is weathered parent material and then r is considered as the bed rock okay it is considered as the bed rock okay among these horizons always remember that in horizon e there is what we call the zone of uh zone of leaching oh jan ang zone of leaching sa horizon E. Remember that ha? Zone of leaching na sa horizon E. Okay? Huwag kalimutan yan. And we have the horizon A as the topsoil or the uh, horizon A plowing. Yan, plowing or plowing. Ito yung ano niya, sub ano niya. Pag letter P, it means plowing. Yung plowing ba? Kung saan nagpa-plow. Yun. Sa, tapos din, uh, um, may nabasa din ako na uh, ano tawag doon? May nabasa din ako na yung microorganism daw are usually found in subsoil. Ang subsoil dito is itong horizon B. Subsoil yan siya. So, that is a subsoil. So, dyan daw usually ang mga microorganisms. Okay? Dyan daw usually ang mga microorganisms. Dapat hindi siya mabado. Let's ba, kaya nga, di ba, pag nagko-cultivate tayo, wag masyadong malalim. Yun. Wag masyadong malalim kasi yung microorganisms madidestroy natin. Actually, yung microorganisms, pag na-destroy po sila, so magbabalik na naman sila ulit. No? You know what? That is under the rule of carbon and nitrogen ratio. Uh, rule of thumb ng carbon and uh, eh, carbon and nitrogen ratio. So, organic po yan. So, no worries kasi i-discuss ko yan sa inyo because that's very important. Okay? So, laging tatandaan ang mga horizons na yan. Hmm. Yung horizon or horizon R or the bedrock, siya po ay ano, tinatawag nating ano, oh, impenetrable layer. Impenet, impenetrable. Hindi siya man napepenetrate yon Impenetrable. Impenetrable. Ayan, penetrable yon Okay, so meron yun sa board exam tinanong, Uh, which of the uh, of the horizons daw ang water table can be found? Saan daw doon sa ano sa horizons na yan, ang water table can be found. No, totally the water table can be found in the layer of uh, the horizon layer of bedrock. Diyan po ang uh, diyan po yung water table talaga. Okay, di ba kaya nga kailangan uh, pag nagpapadip well tayo, yung sinasabi nila na reach na daw nila yung water table. It means they already reached the bedrock. So, saan? 
pag sabing bedrock, ibig sabihin nandun po yung mga unweathered, uh, impenetrable yon So, ibig sabihin po yung 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 hose or yung dulo ng nagdidrill sa kanin, nagdidrill nila, parang uh, parang na-leak na nila ba, kung baga na-crack nila yung racks. Tapos doon nag-stay. Kasi malinis kasi yun eh. Yung, yung water doon po ay hindi na uubos. Kasi nga water table yun. Okay? Nuggets ninyo? Pag ano, pag merong ano, pag mataas ang siguro ang ang dagat may tendency pag high tide siguro mataas yung water table umaabot siya ng horizon sea no pero ang unstable po talaga is nasa bedrock okay na gets na ninyo oh yan lang muna ang discussion natin sa soil science ha ngayon and tomorrow we will be discussing about physical properties and soil microorganisms na intindihan ninyo di ba madali lang ang soils actually soil science is the number one that will pull you up Mm -hmm. Number one yun sa pina na uh, pull up At saka sa lahat ng subjects Ang soil science ang pinakamadali Yan din discuss ko ngayon sa slides ko Lahat yun na ilalabas sa exam mm -hmm. Nalabas yun sa exam guys I'm not choking Charot, I'm not choking Okay, nalabas yun sa exam guys Ganyan lang yan, pero nalabas yun sa exam mm -hmm. Okay, so yun Hindi naman sa pinagmamalaki I get 91 scores dito sa soil science So I'm so very proud of myself Charot lang <laughs> Kasi gano'n na siya kadali na ano, na kasi ano siya, relate na relate kasi ako because of the solemn and regulate. Gano'n. Doon ako nakaka-relate talaga ako yan lagi. Sa klase namin kaya tinatawag, ano ka, solemn ka, regulate. Yeah. Gano'n. Pag sa mga friend ninyo, pag agriculturist na kayo guys, yun. Pwede niya yan pag-usapan, ano ka, solemn ka ba o regulate? Gano'n. So malalaman na kahit kung ayaw niyo pong marinig, ayaw niyo pong, ayaw, ayaw, ayaw niyo pong marinig ng pinag-uusapan ninyo, syempre plastikan-plastikan tayo, gano'n. So, Ang ayaw nyo marinig ng kalaban ninyo, so ikaw kasi ano ka, regulate ka. <laughs> regulate ka, hindi ka solemn. <laughs> o, yung parang like it's an agriculturist term. Okay, at least tayo lang nakakaintindi. Wala tayong sinasaktang tao. Tarot! <laughs> Wala tayong sinasaktan tao. Mas maganda na yung mga tao hindi nakakaintindi sa sinasabi natin. Hindi sila sasaktan. Yon, tayo lang nakakaalam. Okay, so thank you very much everyone. Ayan, I feel sleepy na din. Okay, so you can actually, what we discussed earlier about with science, you can access it already because the recording still na um, okay ng recording. Okay, so thank you very much everyone. Tomorrow we will discuss about soil, uh, physical properties, and then the uh, soil microorganism. Di ba sabi ko sa inyo, I can do it in two days. Charot. <laughs> can do it except for... Uh, no, except for chemical properties. Ayan, thank you very much everyone. Ay, makatulog na tayo. Ayan, thank you for pasensya na talaga. Thank you for staying with me until the end of the presentation of our class. Thank you very much everyone. And again, good night. Anyong hejo mo sa iyo. And advance to come nida. Bye-bye everyone. Chajayo. Bye sir. Good night. Chajayo. Anyong hejo mo sa iyo. Bye-bye. Kamsamida.